Hello, and welcome to Heavy Metal Vegan Cooking. What you are about to see are the true events that transpired on March 31st, 2009. A warning, viewer discretion is advised. Hi, and welcome to another episode of Heavy Metal Vegan Cooking. I'm your host, Tim, and today we're going to be making a thick, but not so meaty chili. Let's check out the ingredients. You're going to need one onion, garlic, olive oil, a substitute for ground beef like Morningstar crumbles, a can of whole tomatoes, kidney beans, black beans, ground cumin, chili powder, cayenne pepper, black pepper, and salt. What's great about this chili is it's quick, it's easy, and there's minimal preparation. I wasn't sure what was happening to me. All I knew was that I was being filled with a rage that made me want to speak in a bad British accent, and a fury that made me want to belittle my own cooking skills. Ah! I guess it's great if you're lazy slob! You can't run a kitchen, I bet you couldn't even run a fucking bath if I asked you to! What? What the? Ah! Uh, I guess we're gonna start making our chili. Uh, your first step is to take one medium-sized onion and four cloves of garlic and you're gonna chop up the onion and mince up the garlic. Once you've chopped up your onion and your garlic, once you've taken two fucking hours to cut up your fucking onion and garlic, everyone will have left the restaurant. So you've got a whole bunch of onions and garlic to eat your soup. As I was saying, uh, once you have your onion chopped up and your garlic minced, it was hard for me to comprehend what was happening till I watched the tapes after filming. And then it all made sense. Earlier in the day, while I was watching Gordon Ramsay on the BBC, the TV went dead. So I tried to employ my expert audiovisual skills to fix the TV. But while trying to fix it, I was struck unconscious. When I came to, I thought everything was fine. But later on, I realized that everything wasn't fine. You're gonna take a large pot, you're gonna put some olive oil in the bottom, and you're gonna start cooking the onion and the garlic until the onions start to turn nice and soft and they'll get translucent. Once your onions start to get nice and soft and translucent, it's going to be time to put in your ground beef substitute. I'm going to be using Morningstar Crumbles. Fucking frozen meat substitute bullshit! Uh, uh, as I was saying, we're gonna put in the ground beef substitute and just let that uh, thaw out and start to sizzle. While you're waiting for that to cook, you can get your beans and tomatoes ready. Most likely you have canned beans, so all you're gonna need to do is drain those. If you bought crushed tomatoes, you're not going to need to do anything. But if you got whole tomatoes in the can, or fresh tomatoes, we're going to cut those up right now. Once you hear that sizzle, it's time to put your tomatoes and your beans right in. Then just let those heat up. As that's heating up, we're going to get ready to put in our spices. You can do that anywhere along the way, or, but if you're like me, you want to do it at the end, because then you can do it to taste. We're going to be putting in some black pepper, some ground cayenne pepper, ground cumin, chili powder, and salt. When I say I like to do it to taste, it means because I have no idea how much of anything I ever put in! <sighs> As I was saying, uh, we're gonna we're gonna be putting in our spices to taste right now. 
This is the remain of the brain, nothing gained I continue my searching in the night For the one who fulfills my pride Once you've got your spices in there, give it a taste to see if it needs a little bit more of anything good, but you've got one f***ing dish, and you have a whole f***ing dinner to prepare! I, I've had about enough of this. I'd had enough, and I knew an exorcism was needed. So, I researched on the internet, and I found that only three things were needed for an exorcism. First, was a cross on the victim. A second was holy water. And three were verses of prayer. It's a word I say. And you shall be satisfied, O prophet the Almighty! Once you've exercised all your demons, your chili is done. I'm Tim, and this has been Heavy Metal Vegan Cooking.